guys, it is Arika Misha in the kitchen doing my thing. Oh yeah, now today we have a special menu today. Today I will be cooking the Omaha Steaks. I will be cooking, um, now let me just uh, make sure I let you guys know before I forget. Um, I did do an Omaha Steak unboxing. My sister from Michigan did a little special love uh, order for me and the girls. She wanted to do something special for me and the girls. Shouts out to my sister Brenda. Shouts out to you sis. Love you girl. But anyway, so um, yes, she did a nice little love box. I will leave the unboxing video and the link in the description box below so you guys can look at that and uh, check out the Omaha Steak unboxing. Y'all might want to order y'all something. I don't know. But anyway, so um, yes, today we've got the Omaha Steaks. I had a bunch of stuff in the box. You guys look at that video to go see what all I had in there. Um, now, the steaks, I already unboxed my steaks, of course, because y'all know I had to pre-season my stuff. So we've already got the beef sirloin steaks yes i've already got them pre-seasoned overnight y'all know how i do oh yes they ready they ready already yes and they came four to a box and it's four of us perfect all right so those are my steaks and i did go to fresh market had to be fresh fresh market and i grabbed some of these jumbo shrimps they are really really big y'all what steak shrimp what Y'all ain't ready, cause y'all know I'm greedy. Look at them shrimps. Oh yeah, from the fresh market. Guess that mean they fresh, but whatever. That's our fresh market shrimp. Looking delicious. All right, so what else I got over here I'm cooking today? Now, these are the uh, four count uh, scallop potatoes. It is a four count. Let me open it up, of course, cause I gotta get them. I got, I got my pans down here ready. Let me bring y'all down so y'all can see. I got my two pans ready. Ready. This pan is for the scalloped potatoes. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to put the scalloped potatoes on this one. And this is how they come. Four to a pack. Scalloped potatoes. Now, let's read our directions. Because these, I didn't take that. I let them stay frozen according to the directions. Um... All right, so let's see how we do these according to the directions. Oven, okay. This, these are the oven directions. Do not thaw. Preheat oven to 425. I've already preheated my oven. Place desired number of servings two inches apart on the baking sheet. Line with parchment and, well, I got aluminum foil. Spray with nonstick cooking spray. I've already sprayed both of my pans with cooking nonstick cooking spray. Bake 30 to 35 minutes or until internal temperature reaches 165 degrees as indicated by food thermometer. Anyway, so those are the directions for the scalloped potatoes. Alright, so let's get the scalloped potatoes in. And of course, I'm going to give y'all a close up of how these scalloped potatoes look right now. Frozen. Like a little frozen circle. Look at that, y'all. Like a work of art. Bring it in for y'all to see. Y'all see um, them potatoes all in there? You Let me point it out. You see them potatoes in there. You see them. Ooh, look at the top of that. Oh, that's going to be some goodness. That's going to be some goodness. That might be my thumbnail. Maybe not. Anyway. Okay, so I'm cooking all four. Just going to place them just like this. Let's see how I'm going to place them. Because, you know, we got to give them room to spread. So... How should I do it? I was going to do two on each side, but I got too much room in that middle. Okay, let's just do it like this. I think that's good enough. I still got a lot of room in the middle, but that's okay. We just going to leave it like that. I think that'll be good enough. Hopefully that gives them enough room to spread out. Okay, so that's our scalloped potatoes. So I sprayed my um, pan already, my aluminum, and I'm going to spray the top of my scallops. You know the oil. The oil helps your food cook. So we got those ready to go in the oven already. Let me sit these over here. All right. Now our next pan. Got my aluminum foil down. Already sprayed with cooking oil. My next pan is for the next box. And this box is the caramel apple tartlets. Caramel apple tartlets. Alright, so let me show y'all these. Could not wait to cook these. It's four in a box. I love it because it's four of us. That's perfect. Let me show y'all what these look like. Y'all gotta go see my unboxing now. So let me open y'all so I can show y'all the look. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Look at that. It's like a work of art. 
Ooh, the little caramel on the inside. Ooh, I'm telling you. Oh, that's beautiful. That's gonna be some good eating right there. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Mm-mm-mm. Omaha steaks. <laughs> that's where the steaks supposed to come from. Omaha, ain't it? Well, New York got steaks too. Yeah, so New York famous for their steaks. Omaha steaks, we know. Omaha, New York. Well, we need what Florida good for? What Florida famous for? Oranges, right? Florida, we gotta do better. Oranges. Okay, anyway, y'all. Enough of that. So we got four of these. We're gonna go ahead and lay these down. I gotta read the directions on these now. I know they had to stay frozen too. So ain't those cute, y'all? They are so cute and pretty. We're gonna put all four. Just like we did the scalloped potatoes. Let's get all four laid down. Okay, wait now. Got a little crust broke off right there. Okay, let's put you on the side. I don't know where that came from, but okay. Okay, that's where that's going, child. All right, so let's read the directions on these apple tartlets. Um, okay, oven. Preheat oven to 400 degrees. Remove from, remove from cellophane bag, duh. Take it out the plastic bag, of course. Place on foil, lined baking sheet. Good God, we got the foil already ready, we're all ready. Allowing space between each piece, bake 18 to 20 minutes. Okay, so we got 18 to 20 minutes for these, and we got like 30, 35 minutes for the scalloped potatoes. So, I'ma set the timer for 20 minutes for these, and then I'll just do an additional time for the scallops. Anyway, y'all. All right, so let's get this stuff popped in the oven, because this stuff gonna take a minute. So I'm gonna get this frozen stuff in the oven, and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all me how I'm gonna cook the steak and how I'm gonna cook the shrimp. We'll be back. Okay guys, we are back, and we are ready to cook it up. So, as you guys can see, I've got a little bit of butter in this pan right here. This is where I'm gonna grill the steak. And over here, we have the other smaller pan. That's where I'm gonna grill the shrimp. Don't really need to uh, cook the shrimp. As you guys can see, they are already pre-cooked. You guys saw that, let me show you again. They are already pre-cooked. I just need to toss them around in that butter. We are not cooking them, they are already cooked. That cuts your cooking time in half when you buy them pre-cooked. I like the fresh shrimp too, don't get me wrong. But the pre-cooked helps it get done quick and easier. Just gonna sit those down in there with that butter that's melting. I'm gonna get my top. And sit my top. Oh, I gotta get all my onions out of here now. Y'all know I gotta get all my stuff I paid for. Let me go ahead and get my steaks laid down and my butter that's sizzling over here. Got that butter laid down. Now my steaks are already seasoned. Garlic, everything's on the steaks, so I ain't gotta add nothing. Let's get our steaks in here. I'm trying to see. I'm not gonna be able to fit all four. So I'm just gonna do two at a time. Moving around in my butter. Make sure that bottom side gets covered in butter. I'll just do two at a time. I do need to add some onion to my steaks. I wanted to wait till I was cooking them to add my onions. Don't worry, I'ma zoom y'all in to the goodness. Put some onions on the side here. And as you guys can see, I have the minced onions. So, let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see that goodness. See them steaks, how they cooking up. Oh yeah. That's goodness right there. That is some goodness. Alright, wash my hands off. Let me get my top. So I can cover my shrimp up so they can go ahead and be steaming and getting nice and hot over there. We don't need high heat. I don't want high heat for that. We don't need high heat for that. So, all right. Okay. Okay, looking good. It's not gonna take long to cook these, these steaks. They thick, but they're not that thick. These are the sirloin steaks. Sirloin steaks. Not gonna take long to grill them up. Cut my heat down. I don't want to cook them on high heat. That'll cook them too fast. Outside of be cooking and the inside won't. We like well done steaks. FYI, we like well done steaks. How you like your steaks is your business. It ain't nobody else's business. That's the word of the day right there. Word of the day. Mind your business. Keep your business to yourself. Mind your business and stay out of other people's business. I'm trying to tell you now. Come on now. Y'all know when I tell y'all something. 
Something God been dealing and talking to me about. Girl, mind your own business. You got enough going on in your own life. Mind your own business. How about you do that? How about you mind your own business? God, please mind your own business. So I turned that heat down. Shouldn't take long for these steaks to cook up. Let me get my top. I do want to get my top. So I can go ahead. I don't think I left my top back there. That's all right. I'll use this other top. I'm sure my other top will fit. I got so many frying pans and stuff. Okay. I'm sure this will fit. Yes. I got that heat turned down. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead. Y'all see the steaks? I'm going to go ahead and get them steaks grilled up. Uh, the shrimp looking good over here. I'm going to go ahead and get these shrimps grilled up. And y'all know what? That's it. This is a quick and easy meal, actually. It is a quick and easy meal. I'm pan uh, sauteing the shrimps and the uh, steaks. Oh, it's going to be so good, y'all. So good. And I've got those scalloped potatoes and our little caramel tartlets in the oven. This is a quick, easy meal, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cooking everything up. Y'all see? Y'all see how I did it? Quick and easy. And I'll be back, y'all. It's going to be the grand finale because it's just that easy. All right, y'all. Y'all know I'll be back to show you all the food. Okay, guys. We are back for our grand finale. Let's go over here to our LA shrimp. I will zoom y'all into those shrimps. Don't worry about it. I got you. Oh, yes. That garlic and buttered shrimp. I got a little old bay in there too. Y'all know what I say? Cause he a old bay. Don't nobody want him no more child. Oh, look at those shrimps. Mm, 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 mm. Those jumbo shrimps. Don't they look so good? Oh, y'all see the butter. Y'all see the butter down there. Don't make me zoom in. Okay. All right. And over here to our scallop let potatoes. Let me zoom y'all out. They turned out so cute and perfect. Let me zoom y'all in to this scalloped potato. Mm, mm, mm. It's like a work of art, y'all. Like a work of art. Yes. Oh, wait, wait. Back up, back up, y'all. Back up. Get out the business. Woo, them scalloped potatoes. And let's go over to the steaks. Yes. Pan fried and garlic and butter. Yes. They look so good, y'all. I was trying to get me a little corn off, but I couldn't break a corner off. And over here to our Le apple caramel torts. Oh, they are so cute. They smell so sweet. I'm ready to eat. All right. I just wanted to come and give y'all a little quick little look at everything before I go eat now. Mm, 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 mm. All right, guys. Y'all seen me do it. Now, let me remind y'all, make sure y'all go over to my Spiritual Journey channel, Arika Misha Spiritual Journey channel. It will be in the description box, the link to my second channel. That's my spiritual channel over there, y'all. I don't be playing around over there. I don't be playing around over there. It's serious business going on over there, y'all. So, y'all go over there, show me some love and support on my spiritual journey. It is a journey. I tell you, it has been a journey. And by the time you guys see this, you guys will already know what journey I'm on right now. But you know what? If God be for me, who can be against me? Who? All right, y'all. Let me go before I get to preaching. Go over to my spiritual journey channel for all that, y'all. It'll be in the description box below. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.